Hello everybody, welcome to another video on Omnimal Creative Labs. I don't have another channel to do this specifically, I normally do electronics and camera gear, but I really wanted to do like an uh, on-camera unwrapping of these mystery decks from Art of Play. This is my third year getting them. Uh, I learned about them from Chris Ramsey, you know, pretty popular YouTuber. You've probably seen them. But this year I got uh, 10 decks that I'm very excited to get into. I'm really hoping for a Vertigo, one of the Alfred Hitchcock themed decks, and also a uh, an Overlook. I have an Overlook that I traded for somebody last year. Someone was kind enough to trade with me for a duplicate that they got as well. I haven't broken the seal yet and I'm a little reluctant to, so I'm hoping that I get another one so that I can actually open it up and play with the cards. I don't really care too much about keeping these things pristine. I've already taken the cellophane wrapper off, but it would be cool to have a sealed one because they're so dang expensive. They're still going for like $85 on eBay. I'm just gonna get into it. Let me go with the first one here. See how these open up this year. And... Messy mod, awesome. I do like these. Um, got our little stickers that they're giving out this year. They give out some last year too, but this one, there's a different sticker, or there is a sticker in every package, which is pretty nice. I like the tuck box, I love it a lot. I'm in the middle of designing a lot of my own cards, so I'm, I'm really interested in seeing all the different designs that are available. And there are some really great artistic, just really well-made prints of playing cards. They're super nice. Cool, we got the symbols here. Messy mod. Art of play. Very cool. Let's see if I can do this. Almost. <laughs> Getting there. Trying to practice practice my cardistry. But a uh, very cool deco design. Yeah, I really like these. I'm glad I got it. Glad I got a set of these. These are these are fun to look at. And they're very much an inspiration to some of the decks that I'm trying to design. Very cool. Number two. And got our purple wheels. Yeah, I saw these on, uh, of course, on Chris Ramsey's show. He's He got 25 decks and no duplicates, so we get to, got to see every single deck that's coming. Very nice, once again, uh, embossed design on the tuck case. Very cool uh, seal there, I like that. DKMG. Some skulls. Oh, very cool. They're very uh, sugar skulls and from Art of Play. Very nice. Very clean. I like that. DKNG Studios. Dig it. Yeah, I like those. This is actually just the ad card. These are what the bicycle, back of the bicycles, bicycles look like. They are symmetrical. Very cool. Number three. Yes. There's the one I wanted. These, ever since I saw these. Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo themed. Yes. Uh, I'm just a huge movie buff. I'm not the most, I'm not the biggest Hitchcock fan, but you can't deny the importance of his films. There's just so many bad stories about how he treated his actors. And, and you can have your opinion, but I don't think it's necessary to basically drive people insane to make a piece of art. Um, but that being said, it did what he did. That's just beautiful. I love this. It's matte. And I think I remember this, these being the actual uh, film posters, the original film posters for the movie. And I almost don't, don't want to open these, but the only one so far. Maybe I'll get a duplicate. Yeah. Very nice orange. Same design as the tuck box. Ooh, there he is right there. He's the Jokers, possibly. Spades. We got title cards on our face cards. 
Hadn't seen those yet. That's pretty cool. That's a neat idea. I do like that. Very cool. Glad I got one of these. All right, I don't need to open any more. This is the one I wanted. That's awesome. I just like the box. I just like the design of it. Got me changing my mind about my own design. Number four. Oh, nice. Jungle playing cards. Art of play. Very cool. I like this design too. That's cool. I imagine that's what the cards are. Illustrated by Murti. Art of play. Very cool illustrations. Oh, that's nice. Jokers. Yeah, that's cool. I like it when they do the indexes as different fonts, but sometimes they're a little hard to read. And not that it's the end of the world, but uh, they definitely fit with the uh, theme of the deck. They're super nice. With different illustrations, very cool. Yeah, I like these a lot. I wish I could do illustrations like this. It feels like it's uh, the card stock for this is very, for the tuck box is very recycled feeling. And it just has a really nice texture in the hands. That's just the Vertigo ones. They're not, it's not glossy and, and weird. It's still, the illustrations are a little bit embossed. Yeah, I just like the way they, they make their stuff. Number five. Just type playing cards. This is the, it's one of the ones that are kind of crazy. Um, I do like it. There's another version of it out there that's a little cleaner and easier to read. Like a lot of these cards you probably wouldn't play poker with because they're just really cool pieces of art. No seal, I like that. I mean, I like the seals. They're, they can put a lot of thought and art into the seals of the deck. And I know they're just kind of uh, holdovers from older older days. So especially during, with, with cards and casinos, they need to be sealed. But for these art, art style decks, kind of like not having to open up a sticker to get in there. All the indexes. Oh yeah, this is that. The one card, in case you lose a card, you can... <laughs> Uh, circle what it is, which card it is, and which suit it is, and this will replace a card if you lose it. I guess they do really intend you to play with uh, play with this deck. Sign by Pentagram. Close to being symmetric. But, uh, not quite. And that's alright. And this is the one I think they've gone way overboard on the deco. But again, I can't knock it because I didn't think of it. Um, just a real flashy looking deck of cards. Should be doing this. Ah. Very slippery. What are these again? Just type playing cards edition one. I'm guessing that's what they're called. Number six. Grimlore Tartan playing cards. Epiphanies await the curious mind. Oh yeah, this is another one of the ones I was hoping to get. Uh, just a great design. Um, great like illustrations and actual like illustrations. Very cool cross hatched design on here. Art of play seal. I can actually already see the the pattern on the cards on the edges. That's cool already. A blankish, maybe a joker. 
illustrations on these. Regular faces. Looks like it's just the Ace of Spades that has extra illustration on it. But, man, yeah, I just like the cross hatch is very cool. Very uh, dizzying. <laughs> All right, halfway through number seven. Last year, the packaging was a little easy to take off and then in a manner that you could put it back on. These are folded in a very special way that I don't think they're gonna be going back into their packaging any. Ooh, Eames is nice. I do like these. I like their, how stark and just simple the designs are. And it goes to show you that you don't need to be super fancy to make a good looking piece of art or deck of cards. Practical, durable, made in the USA. Starburst, edition one. I dig it. I'm sure there are people screaming at me for opening it this way, but that's all I got. Our ad card. Yeah, see, super slick design. Yeah, I like that a lot. Oh yeah, this is the, uh, the one's got a little edge work on there. So as you flip through them, you can see the the faces grow. Each, each, each uh, there's two, there's a line per the number. So as they get bigger, they get, have more and more lines in their design. Yeah. There's, Oh, and there's a there's a bar on the side. That's that's where the design is coming from. So the bars on the edges are the size of their index. Very cool. Glad I got this too. And number eight. Oh, another one. I don't have the ramen heads. Nice. Another great feeling box with the noodles. The noodles on the stamp as well. On the seal. Ooh, this one just came off. Lucky me. I really like the design of the insides of the tuck boxes when they have little surprises. I do a lot of work in product design and packaging and like in the way that it's changed in the past 20 years with Apple and, and stuff, but where the packaging, opening the packaging is half the experience. Having, having this show up unexpectedly, very cool. These are just really cool designs. Nice. <laughs> Different ones for each, very nice. I do like the decks that have non-traditional face cards. Close enough to symmetrical. Not so much that you would notice if they were flipped. Yeah, like these two. Number nine. Nope. Oh, good. I don't have these either. Lady Moons. Nice foil design. Yeah, just really nice. For now, I just gotta chop through the, the seal. It's like uh, another nice... I love the box, and the cards are nice too. Um, also, just the tiniest bit of gilding. Not quite foil, but just goldish ink. Very clean, very... Oh, I like that. It looks like they're the same. Just different colors, but still super nice. So nice holding new decks. I have one or two decks at my desk that I pick up a few times a day to practice and just uh, give my hands something else other to do than working a keyboard. But it's, uh, you know, they get tacky and sticky. It's always just nice to fan out a brand new deck. All right, last one. Probably not the Overlook. Oh, duplicate. All right. 
that's fine. I do like this deck. And as, as happened last year, um, I found somebody on Instagram who also posted, posted their cards on the Art of Play. And uh, we were able to do a you know cross country trade through mail. The person was nice enough to trust me and I trusted them. Sent off a, I think it was this one, if an octopus could palm. I had a, a duplicate of this. And I traded for this overlook, which apparently I'm still not opening this year. Maybe I will. I don't know. I just just do cool. I can't can't bring myself to to open it. But very happy with the vertigo. Very happy with this year's take. Um, thank you for watching. Um, this is only once a year thing, so this channel will go back to being reviews of camera gear and electronics. Uh, thank you very much. Subscribe, like, blah blah blah. You know. You know the deal. <laughs>